Roswell Flight Test Crew here at Free Fly Systems in Seattle, Washington. I'm here talking to Nick Hagee, marketing guy. How you doing, Nick? Good to see you. Thanks Good. for coming. Absolutely. We're glad to be here. Now, the shop really seems busy this morning. What's going on here? Well, we started shipping the Alta on August 3rd, so we're trying to get them out to customers as quickly as possible, but they're all hand assembled here in house, so we do a bunch of rigorous testing and, and want to make sure they're perfect for customers. Outstanding. What else have you got going on here? Well, we do a lot of our all of our own in house development and testing, engineering, design, and production. So we definitely are moving and shaking on a continuous basis, but I've got a brand new Alta for you to check out. Fresh out of the box, they handed it to me this morning, so you wanna check it out? Absolutely. All right. <laughs> so I'm here with Nick, and we're gonna take a look at what's inside this box here, but actually it's pretty cool. This is what customers get when they receive this unit? Yeah, yeah, they'll get uh, the Alta already um, included in a industry standard Pelican. Okay, awesome. Well, let me open it up real quick. Okay, so what do we have here? We have, this is uh, manuals. What so is... we've got the quick start guide here. So this is the quick start guide. So it will give you a very brief summary of all the things that you'll need to do to get up and running with the Alta. Also want to make sure that you get the app. Got it, so, there we go. So download the app, very cool. Okay, so you know what? First thing I want to point out is this is awesome. This is a handle. So you can just pull the aircraft out of the box and that's it, that's seriously handy. I'll move so, this off to the side for you. Okay, so that's really cool. I love the handle. That's great. So what else do we have in the box real quick before we can get rid of this? Yeah, absolutely. What, what so is this? In, in, in the bottom of the box, you'll have your uh, your landing gear. So when you do oh, uh, like top it mounted, doesn't quite sit like I got it. Okay. Yeah, so everything's just right in here. So let's just bring that out. Okay. I'll close this up. That way we can get detail. I'm gonna put this here. So I'm going to stick this under this and since it's yeah. wants to sit. Oh. So so it will ship with an additional, with an additional male toad um, for when you go top mounted. Got it. So you release this first, yep. then you can just pop plop it right in. out. Oh, I got it. Okay, perfect. And then click that right in. And then latch. Absolutely. Awesome. Yep. Make sure that that's secure. That's cool. So what else we have here in the box? We have, uh, looks like uh, a toolkit. Yeah, we have, we have a bunch of uh, goodies that will ship with the box. Um, we have additional vibration isolation cartridges. Mm -hmm. So it will ship with six already pre-installed so teal ones These here. are teal, okay. Yep. And so that will be for your medium payload. Okay, so this is the, the little teal anti-vibration mount here. And if you look at it, it allows the aircraft and the uh, power system to function independently of the gimbal. The gimbal's isolated from vibration with these little guys here. There are six groups of these rings around the aircraft here. Each limb has one. So how did you come up with the design for the isolators there? So the vibration isolators were actually uh, originally created for the, the Sinistar line. This is a new iteration, almost a little bit more of a, a toolless ability to pop in and out of the cartridges. It'll come pre-tuned for about a 10 pound payload. These additional ones, the reds are for a, more of a lightweight DSLR setup, like an M5 with the A7S. Okay. Uh, and then the, the, the blacks here would be for something that uh, is a little bit more robust, a little bit of a heavier setup. What is in here? So, so move the uh, vibration isolation cartridges over here and uh, getting into the other package that will come with it. So in here you're going to find a variety of tools and additional stuff for your Alta from FPV cables. So these are all the wires that hook a normal like a video transmitter for this for FPV then? So. Yeah, a couple different uh, variations of the FPV cable to suit your specific setup. And then we also include a USB cable to actually power the synapse so you can actually do all of your tuning without plugging in your main power. Oh, okay, cool. And what is this, this, ro uh, this rubbery thing? What is that? We include an additional strap for your battery. Got it. Dog chews it up. No, well, you got a spare one. I hope a dog doesn't chew it up, it'd be bad. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So um, then we've got some FPV mounts. So those are for uh, your receiver antenna. Oh, okay, so little straws. Yeah. Got it. Okay. And a little piece of carbon fiber here. Yep, for your FPV, FPV mount. FPV mount, okay. So adhesive tape, yep. a small wrench. Yep, and so this is a small carbon fiber wrench to adjust your uh, prop tension. And what are, the, what are these? If you need to replace a prop or if one comes out during flight. Ah, awesome. So yeah, that, that's pretty handy to give little spare pieces there. So. Yeah. so we also include a variety of different drivers to do any maintenance on your Alta, along with an additional Prop protector. Like a, like a helicopter, these protect the propellers from flopping around and transport them. Exactly. So just pretty, Yep, they just slip off just like that. Pretty handy. And take, if you want to take all those off, we can actually start unfolding oh, absolutely. the Alta. Get to the, get to the fun part. Absolutely. 
it's probably hard to see this on the camera, but it is a very interesting aircraft, the way it kind of fits together like this. So I know it's a little retention pieces you have to kind of flick here. Yep, yep, the uh, little boom retention clamps right there. Okay, just so you flick those down. Flick those down. And just And then slowly, essentially bloom, bloom the, the, got it. the Alta right out. That is really cool. Yeah. I love the double hinge mechanism here. Make sure that the, each one Those is clicks. extremely secure here. Nice solid click so you know it's in place. Absolutely. And there's no play whatsoever. It's just completely solid. Correct. So here we have a couple of batteries and where do these go? Obviously on top here and... Yeah, so the batteries can go right up here and the batteries are not included with the Alta, but um, we, what we use is a uh, 6S uh, in parallel, uh, nine amp hour batteries. I see. Um, so these are a couple of our brand new flight packs so yeah. Just pull over. Oh, that's and just clamp that down. And so there's a bunch of different uh, actual holes within the battery strap to for uh, adjust for whatever, and, well, yeah. whichever batteries you choose. That's true. Because you got more room here for bigger batteries, and these are pretty big. We got more room in here. For exactly. So if you're ones. already a, a multi rotor pilot that has a battery uh, capable of flying, you don't necessarily need to get new ones. But we definitely well, have that, brand new ones. With here. the size here, I can still use the handle. Absolutely. <laughs> So here we have two EC5s coming out of the aircraft, and just plug the batteries into them, and basically that's it. We're good to go. So another thing I'm curious about here, actually, this little thing on the side, let me rotate this yeah. so the camera can see it, is what is this? So this is the uh, GPS unit. It also has a built-in SD card. And that way you can do some data logging and report back your flights, or if experiencing issues, you can send it to support. That is awesome. Okay, so I see this little light here in the back. It looks like a status light of some kind. It is, yeah. And so, so it will provide a bunch of feedback while it's out in the air. Okay, so what is the flight controller in here? Because it doesn't look familiar to me, the light there. So the flight controller is actually our flight controller. It's the Synapse flight controller. Oh, it was built from okay. the ground up um, from years of uh, practice out on set. Got it. So this is the very own flight controller. That's awesome. Yeah. Now, on the box it said there was an app. I went ahead and downloaded it and I was yep. playing with this. And it's got some interesting features I haven't seen before. You can change the color of the light on every single one of the booms to whatever color you want. So you could say, I want them all to be yellow or whatever. And it just does it for you. That's really cool. And plus it has all, you know, looks like it's got information here for uh, aircraft performance and, and GPS information and that's that's awesome. I like this application. So within the app, you're able to tune your Alta to fit your particular flight style. Uh, you can also save preferences within there. So if you have a different payload, a different flight situation, you can save all that in there. Now, looking at these motors here, these motors look awesome. They look hand wound. They look very nice. Are these something you just buy off the shelf or what is this? No, these are uh, F45 motors that were designed by one of the founders, David Bloomfield. Yeah, there's a, there's a heat sink built on the bottom of this. That's really awesome. This is a little heat sink around the can there and the bell. I like yeah, that. Yeah, and all the motors have actually been uh, fully baked in in-house here. I want to do extensive testing on um, hot and cold temperatures to, to really find the limits so that the, our customers don't have to. So, okay, why would you not just use off-the-shelf parts here? Why design everything in-house? So the biggest benefit for us was that we would have 100% control. We wanted to desi design everything in-house um, in order to ensure the quality. So one of the most obvious design aspects of this aircraft is the is this here, this bend. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and so these are the gooseneck booms that we designed specifically for the Alta to allow for uh, an increased field of view. Oh, I see. So when you're when you're in forward moving tip forward, you're not going to get these in the camera as easy because they're higher. Also, it makes it fold smaller. So if you're folding these things up, they can fold basically one on top of the other. So this arm essentially sits on top of that arm's mount. We have the aircraft here. What else is required to make this fly? So there's a couple things that you'll need to at least get uh, up and running. Uh, you'll need a transmitter and receivers. It works with a variety of ones that already are out there. So if you are a professional multi-rotor pilot, you probably already got one in your arsenal. Futaba, Gropner, Spectrum, JR. You also need to make sure that you have some batteries. Um, it works with a variety of batteries. Uh, 6S, 9 amp hour in parallel is what we operate with. Um, we do sell flight packs, but they are not included with these in case you already do have your own. Okay, so uh, you mentioned batteries. What is your flight time on this? So flight time for this with a 15 pound payload would be about 14 minutes. Okay, that's, that's a pretty heavy payload. Mm -hmm. Is the receiver inside of here or how does that work? So you'll attach your receivers to the outside of the Alta through cables that are available on the inside of the closeout panels. This is not designed for the newbie. 
No. This is definitely a rig for somebody who is a professional pilot already or flying these aircraft. This is an upgrade to their current rig, essentially. Absolutely, yeah. If you're a professional aerial cinematographer, this will work perfectly in your arsenal. Uh, and you'll pr pretty much be able to get up to, up to speed very quickly. Um, for any uh, you know newcomer to the to the industry, they'll definitely want to start with something a little bit smaller. With the Alta, definitely would encourage you know seeking some professional training um, before you get going on this or make sure that you've dedicated enough uh, actual hours to, to find something a little bit smaller and that way you know all of your orientation skills, yeah. uh, you know how to operate something that has not even a built-in battery um, and you can actually monitor all of your voltage correctly. I really wish you could see it close because it's just so awesome. It, it's everything from the way it feels, every single piece is just perfect. Everything from the way the battery retention system works, you can, you can customize it, you can make adjustments to small things for your kit essentially. But I think the only thing left to do is to see it fly. Excellent.